say hi welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to um, do my makeup today I'm gonna use the newest and oldest palettes of Jeffree Star Cosmetics so right here I have Androgyny this is his second palette that he ever came out with I think it's at least three years old or four or five years old now but anyway um, I really wanted to use it so here it is right here beautiful color beautiful colors and then also going to use today the mini controversy by the Shane Dawson collection. Yes, there is another collection after this, which is Bloodlust, but that didn't interest me. But I'm using this one today. I'm going to be using some colors out of here today. I never showed y'all these palettes on my channel like before. So since it is quarantine time and I'm seeing a whole bunch of YouTubers actually put out like content literally like almost every day you know because I guess they're finding time now instead of like going to a bunch of meetings and all that even though technically you can FaceTime but I guess you don't really have to run around for that so they're actually doing that now um I figured that I should be on my YouTube business too um right now I post like probably once a week it's supposed to be two and forever how long this quarantine is, um, we'll see how many products I actually, well, we'll see how many videos I actually put up because I still hate editing no matter what. So we'll see. And even though we're being quarantined, like, I feel like the day just passes me by. So I really wanted to do a video today referencing that and to just tell you what you can be doing while you're being quarantined. I hope you are, like, doing what you already were doing in the first place, which I actually taking care of yourself washing your hands and all that good stuff um honestly i'm not really worried about it because i do like keep you know pretty clean or whatever i make sure that stuff is not that you know dirty or whatever especially my hands and i make sure i don't put my hands in my mouth or in my f eyes or whatever you know if i'd actually been clean before and today i haven't even went outside so i'm really not worried Okay, don't mind my hair either. It's quarantine hair, so, you know, quarantine hair means I don't care. Anyway, so one of the things that you... Oh, I'm going in with root beer, right? Diet root beer for the mini controversy, and I'm just going to put it all in my crease. Literally just blow it all out all over my lid. But one of the things that you could be doing while you're in quarantine, if you are a makeup fanatic, and hopefully you are because you're obviously watching this video, is to actually update your skills. So, when I first started doing makeup, like, this is all I would do. I would sit in my room, no matter what time it is. It's literally, like, 9 o'clock at night right now. Okay, it's 8.30. I would just do my makeup or whatever. That's literally... And go nowhere. Just go nowhere. And literally, that's what I'm doing now. Like I said, 8.30 at night. Going nowhere. Just perfecting my makeup. And honestly, during that time, that is how I even got better. Even right now, this, like, looks so good to me. Um... If you've been watching my channel for a while, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But you know, like, I like my skin to look like skin, but also glam skin. So I don't want, like, anything to come out from underneath. Like, like there's spots over, but I don't care that they're there. It still looks like skin overall. So I don't like matte coverage. I like, um, dewy, natural, radiant skin or whatever. So that's what I like. So just use this time to, like, figure out what you like. Figure out how to do stuff more. Figure out how you want to perfect stuff. Another thing you can do is like go on Pinterest and just um, pin looks that you like and just copy those. I'm going in for Ucharm from the Androgyny palette. Um, and just going to go up here with it. Just literally just in that spot right there. A little bit more orange. So yeah, that is one thing you can do. Also, reading a book is sufficient right now is the number one way to go to because um if you're a person that doesn't really have hobbies like that reading a book can get you to almost there and with reading a book um you can probably like study for something if there's something that you really want to know about or whatever grab a book or amazon uh kindle is it kindle yeah a kindle and then also what uh, audible that's what i would say audible um Listen to all those books that like you have, you know, dying to freaking listen to but aren't listening to because you're always in a rush. Um, also, make sure to, yeah, like literally do that. 
I would honestly read a book about something that like I am totally interested in. It may sound weird because I know like you can Google search literally everything, but I feel like that's not really. I feel like googling everything just really is sufficient. I think you should really like deep, deep, deep more deep dive more into it. So I'm gonna mix here androgyny here, and I'll mix it a little bit with dominatrix this brown or whatever, and literally just put it in my crease. Um, yeah, so I feel like you should take this time really to just study, study, study your craft or just study in general or just read a book in general. Like, give yourself something else to think about instead of drama, reality TV shows, and just ne the negativity of the world right now. I honestly don't know what's going on with this coronavirus right now because honestly, once we became quarantined, which I'm happy my job has finally decided to like, you know, take a break. Um, I haven't even been, like, listening to the news or whatever, and I kind of had stopped before, but now I'm, like, really not paying attention or whatever, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know how long this quarantine thing is happening, but, yeah, um, when negative stuff goes on, I like to just pretend it's not happening, so, yeah. So, um, if you need therapy, like, some people cannot, like, sit in the house by themselves, like, they always need social interactions, get some therapy. I know right now, like, some therapists are, like, doing voice, not voice calls, well, I guess so, they're doing phone calls, or they're doing FaceTime, or something like that, instead of, like, having people come to their office, so this time, too, will be a good time for you to just take a break from your mind and get into your mind start a business or start a business or study about the business that you want to do this time i'm using my time to perfect that i'm i'm looking it up more and i'm just trying to think of a plan that like i could do to like create this dream that like i have also i want to say get a hobby I think this time too will be a perfect way to get a hobby. Um, some of y'all are probably sitting in your house and just like already bored by day four or whatever because you don't have anything to do. You're you're a single person. You're probably just um, no offense if you are this person. Where some people are actually okay with living like this or whatever, but you're probably just at home in the house watching TV or whatever most of the time and on social media or whatever. But now it's four days of it, and you're like, okay, now this is boring. Find a really good hobby that you that you can um, branch off of, I guess, if that's the word I want to say. Um, since the quarantine, I have now, well, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I'm actually back into sewing. I really wasn't into sewing before until I sewed my, um, my command ball dress, and now I'm just like, oh, you know, that was actually fun to do. I should be doing it more. And that's actually what I've been doing this whole time. Like, I actually, actually been, like, before I even started filming, I actually cut out the next pattern that I'm going to be doing. Um, so, if there was a hobby or craft or something that you were thinking about doing this whole time, please go ahead out there and do it. Also, before the quarantine or whatever, um, like, Joanne's was having a sale on all the patterns. On all the patterns. So, I literally went there and stocked up on patterns and a little bit more fabric and those are the things the projects that i'm going to be working on this whole time so i'm hoping to at least get like three projects done hopefully but i'm it's kind of cool that like we're doing this because i like the fact that i don't have to rush i'm not telling myself oh yeah i have to be in bed by 10 so i can get enough sleep <laughs> i'm just literally just taking my time with everything and that's the crazy part like uh, um this time off is actually giving me anxiety and that's the weirdest thing like today i think i finally hit my point of okay like if you don't get everything done like it's fine because guess what you have the next day to do it like just as long as you get something done you're 10 times more where you was before you're not at the place that I was before which was not getting everything done and having to still work the next day now it's like okay at least you did tackle that one thing you told yourself about no, let's just keep keep going. Don't don't stress yourself about it. Cause I know like there's a bunch of people who are like cleaning out their house and decluttering and washing up everything, just totally like spring cleaning right now. And I have to still remember that like I'm a single mom. Um, my child is still here, so even if I do clean up one space, he will literally go right behind me and put it right back to where it was. That too can be something that you do while on this 
break is actually getting some stuff cleaned up or decluttered and out of the house. Wash your makeup brushes. Wash your actual ass. Like, in this time too, um, if you don't really have that much time with your kids, spend as much time as you can um, and actually make sure that they're learning too. Um, like you today, I didn't even realize like I had so much stuff for my son with the learning department. Um, and we actually got him ABC Mouse today too. But with that, it's crazy. I just didn't know like we was actually counting today and just matching puzzles and doing things of those sorts. And I was just like, dang, like my son is actually a lot smarter than I was thinking. But like seeing like firsthand myself, like, okay, like he catches on so quickly. Like, kind of genius baby did I have. You can play video games, but not play video games all day. I actually got back into The Sims 4 today. I haven't played Sims 4 in like a month or two. Well, after university was released. Um, so, after university released, I really haven't been playing it like that. But today, I actually decided to pick it back up. And I probably will pick it up after I get... I'm going to take controversy. Actually, I'm going to take controversy here. And put it on my lower lash line and blend it out. But yeah, um, playing Sims 4 today was like a whole other thing. And then I created like a whole new person because I got rid of whoever I was with before because, you know, that wasn't my vibe anymore. So I created a whole new person and like in my head I got a whole new storyline for her. I got a whole new storyline. Um, I just really want y'all to take this time off. If you do have time off, it's a real opportunity. Um... I honestly haven't had time off since November and I've been praying for it. I was planning on taking like the spring break for Mar for April, but obviously this came sooner. So I'm like, oh my God, I have free time off. And what I'm basically going to do with it, the same thing I was going to do for my springtime break. Except for not going anywhere, but I don't think I was going anywhere for April either. Um, also you can take this time too to file your taxes. I haven't filed my taxes yet. Like, nope. And now I'm going to in here with exposed to like blend out that light, that dark purple and just build up on that. Your strongest points of your life, figure out probably that work literally takes up most of your day. Or that you don't really have that much self care for yourself. Or that you really don't have that much time with your family or even inside your home. You pay a great amount of money to be in your home, but yet you're barely even there. We get so distracted by the world that like, when we do have time for ourselves, we sit there and say, what the hell? Also, if you was planning on actually, another thing you can do is actually learning how to cook. Literally. Um, I haven't went outside today and all my meals have been actually made by me today. I actually feel a lot lighter. I don't feel heavy. What are you guys doing anyway while being in quarantine? That is the main question. Um, I think for the first two, no, for the first day, I went out, or well, once I got the, the good to go for when going back to work for a couple of days, um, I went and got my groceries. I cannot find any chicken. Who does that? I went to Walmart that's close by to me and they didn't have any chicken. They didn't have any turkey. They didn't have barely any bacon, no pork, no nothing. When I say these shelves are empty, like they are empty. Um, I had to go like inside the house, which I never really do. I don't shop inside the house because I don't really like um, all that shit. I mostly try to stay away from it. I was actually inside the hours or whatever. I bought um need to go pizza and all that stuff. All the cleaning supplies are gone. Even the um all natural stuff is all natural cleaning supplies is gone. I was like, wow. That's crazy. Like I went over there to just see what I could find. You know, just to be curious. And it was all gone. It was all gone, like nothing on the shelves. I was like, this is crazy like i know y'all was cleaning before like 
I know y'all don't need all this stuff just now, like out of nowhere, like yesterday. And like, I think it's almost a ghost town here. Like almost, 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 almost. Like obviously um, Walmart and Target and places like that are still open. But as far as like local stores and stuff, like they are done. I try to go to Fab Below to see if I can like get like little projects for my son to wear so he can like have creativity time. Um, he got Legos. Um, there's n that wasn't open. I was like, damn. Uh, I went to Walmart, whatever, but Walmart a little bit just too expensive, and I also hate Walmart, so that was not a thing. Um, crazy. I'm gonna go with Mac Whisper Guilt and just touch up my my cheeks right here. Um, this is my ultimate all natural um highlighter, I guess. Um, literally, I can use as much as I want. I know I use a little bit, it will come out like a little bit. If I keep piling on, it will be like piled on. I don't know how, how to explain that, but mainly I use this one for work if I actually wore makeup to work, which I barely do anymore. I should start. But yeah, so. I'm going to use Velvet Teddy today by MAC since we were just talking about it. No liner, no nothing. I'm literally just gonna put it on because, yeah, I'm making it like a touch of a lip. So I guess it, I'm just gonna pat that in and blend it out. Yes, I really hope you enjoyed my quarantine video. It was really cool to just sit up here and just talk to the camera once again. Also, make sure you go ahead and look at the other videos that I have up here. I think it has some alright content, especially what I posted last week. Also, make sure you check out my 30 by 30. I will be doing an update on that one because, you know, it's three months now and I just have to give you a little update. So, yeah. You guys, thank you for coming to my channel today. Please make sure you go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you later. Bye.